Hi boys and girls, my name is Mrs. DiPaolo and I wanted to make a video today to talk to you guys about feelings. Another word for feelings is called emotions. Can you guys say that word with me? Say emotions. Good. Emotions just mean how we're feeling. So I wanted to talk to you guys today about how we're feeling. A lot is happening right now, right? And it's important to understand that you can feel a lot of different things all at one time. You can feel happy, you can feel sad, you can feel confused, you can feel um, maybe even a little scared. And it's okay if you feel more than one of those things at a time. It's always important to talk to your adults about how you're feeling as well. So if you're crying, you know, an adult might say, what's the matter? And you can say, I feel sad. Use words like, I feel a certain way and tell them how you're feeling. So I printed out some funny pictures. I love emojis because they show exactly how they're feeling. Oh, how's this one feeling? He's feeling mad, right? Look at his face. We know that he's mad. He's got a bright red face and he's got pointed eyebrows. He's feeling mad. Can you guys show me a mad face? And there's lots of different reasons why we could be mad, right? If I had an ice cream cone and it fell on the ground, I would be mad. What about this guy? Oh, this one's in feeling love, right? I love all of you. So when I see your smiling faces, my eyes go hearts and I feel love for you. What about this one? Oh, that one's tired. He, he didn't get a good night's sleep. He's tired, right? Can you guys show me tired? How do you look when you're tired? Maybe you yawn. <sighs> Maybe you close your eyes. This, this emoji is tired. Oh, this one's sad. This one, maybe he misses his friends because he can't go to school or she can't go to school. So they're feeling sad. Can you show me a sad face? Sometimes we pout out our lip when we're sad, right? Good. What about this one? Aha, uh -huh, that one's surprised. Yeah, that one looks really shocked about something. I'm not sure what. Maybe if uh, you were eating a fruit salad or a watermelon or something and a fly landed right on your watermelon, you'd be like, oh, I'm surprised about that. Show me a surprise face. Good. He's got his eyes open real wide, so that's what I did. This one's happy. So, so happy. We know that he's happy. He's got a big smile, right? Can you guys show me a happy face? Good job. And, oh. This one's super duper silly. Look at him. His tongue's out. He's got one winking eye. Good. Show me a silly face. Good job. So it's important to know that you can feel all these different ways. You don't have to feel just one way about something. So I'm going to ask you guys a question that I want you to tell me how you feel about it, okay? All right. We can't go to school right now. Our school is closed. So how do we feel about that? So maybe some people feel happy, right? Because they get to spend a lot of time with their family. And maybe some friends feel a little bit sad about that, right? Because they don't get to see their friends right now, so they're feeling kind of sad. Or maybe some people are even mad. You could be mad that you don't get to go to school right now. And right now, also, we're not everyone's seeing their grandparents. But when we get to see our grandparents again, how might we feel? I think I know. We might be feeling a lot, a lot of love. We might be feeling really, really happy. And it's okay to feel all these things. Feelings are important. It's important when we know how we feel and it's important if we can tell someone how we're feeling. So if I'm feeling happy, I like to say, I feel happy because, and give my reasons. And if you tell your adults how you're feeling, they can usually help you through. Sometimes we don't know how we're feeling. We feel confused about that. So it's important if you want to talk to an adult and tell them how maybe you're confused about your feelings and they can help you figure it out. Well, I hope that you're all doing well. Thank you for playing along with me and making all those feeling faces with me today. We miss you all very, very much. We hope that you're all healthy and safe and we will see you again soon. Bye.